So I got my brows powdered, which if you don't know what that means, it's basically like a form of semi-permanent makeup. It's really similar to microblading, but it's like a slightly different technique and technology than microblading. Brow powdering does tend to be better for oily skins in terms of longevity and also just like aesthetically. Microblading when you have really oily skin can start to like blur a little bit, so you kind of lose the benefit of microblading because microblading is known for those really fine hair strokes, so it's like realistic hair-like strokes. But with oily skin, those can get blurred and so you don't get the same kind of effect. Also, I think for whatever reason, um, microblading doesn't tend to last as long on oily skin just because of like the technique that's used. And so I definitely have really oily skin. It's gotten a little bit drier because I use a lot of acne skincare, which tends to dry out my skin. But generally I have oily skin and so, so I went with powdered brows just for the longevity and also the look. This is my first time ever doing any kind of permanent makeup, so I wanted to document the process um, and take you through my entire healing process day by day so you can kind of see how the healing process goes and then you can see what my brows look like after. Um, so if you're thinking about getting powdered brows for yourself, you can kind of see what you would expect in the healing process. You can kind of see what to expect in the days and weeks after. And I kind of talk about like the general healing process, but also kind of my thoughts on the overall procedure. I'm going in tomorrow to get my brows done. I'm getting powder brows. Um, it's going to be my first time getting powder brows or microblading or any kind of permanent makeup. My brows, I'm not having a great brow day today. I tried something different. It didn't go that well for me, obviously. Same with my blush. I tried the Benetint and it just like doesn't really blend. But anyways, I'm going to take you through the entire healing process day by day so you can see what the healing process is like. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous because I know that it takes a while for your brows to look like normal and I'm going to LA next week so I'm really hoping that I can like look like a normal human being, like just like a normal person um, and not have like crazy, scary, dark, scabby eyebrows but that's there's a good chance that's gonna be the case. I really was not blessed in the eyebrow or eyelash department, so I really need help. I'll insert some footage of my natural brows before any treatment and then also after and do a side-by-side -side so you can see and compare for yourself. Anyways, wish me luck. In this part out, we would have to kind of under tattoo the bottom of your brow, right? Because if your brow hairs naturally grow at this angle, but we're trying to strain out and lower the arch, mm -hmm. then the very bottom of your arch, like down here, will have to be filled with color, which I don't mind, but just so you know. Just got back from the studio, brows are freshly powdered. My natural brow has a lot of arch to it, it but I prefer my brows when they're like much straighter. So Cass spent forever just mapping out my brows. She spent like an hour and a half trying to map and shape and draw out my brows with me because she really wanted to follow my natural hair pattern and I wanted it to be like more straight. And so we had to meet somewhere in the middle, but that just required a lot of like revisions. And I felt really bad for her because she said that it usually takes her like half an hour to map out the brows, but for me it took like an hour and a half. The pay on this scale of like one to ten is probably a three or a four um she started off not numbing and that was totally fine and then she had to go back in over and over again because that's how you darken it is just repeatedly going over um and like towards the end the skin was starting to get more irritated so the numbing cream did help but overall i would say the entire experience was probably like it's not as painful as i thought it was going to be it's probably three or four just taking this wipe that she gave me and going over my brows every few hours and then right before I go to bed. So this is the aftercare that Cass gave me. This is uh, an ointment that I'm supposed to start applying after, I think on day three, um, you just apply a really, really thin layer of this. I think it's just meant to keep the wound moisturized. And then this is a wash that you're supposed to start using um, the second day after you get your brows done. And you just wash your brows really, really, really gently with this. 
Okay, today is day two or day one. The very next day, filming a little bit late today. Sorry, it just gets dark so early now and um, I was like working and the day just got away from me, but this is how they're looking. I feel like they haven't started to scab at all yet. Okay, today is day two. I decided to film in my bathroom because it's New York winter and the lighting is just really, really inconsistent because some days are really sunny and some days are really cloudy and overcast. And so for the sake of consistent lighting, I'm just gonna film in my bathroom, but haven't really started to scab yet. Um, today I can start washing them twice a day, once in the morning when I get up and then once in the morning and then once before bed. They don't hurt or anything either, they just kind of feel normal. I'll be honest, I'm still not used to the shape. I'm just so used to them being like drawn a certain way because I've been doing them a certain way for forever. Like straighter than this and they're definitely more arched and like way sharper than I normally would have my brows. Um, but like some friends saw me and they were like, nothing looks different. You look exactly the same. Like I've never would have noticed that your brows were different. They just look really clean. I guess it's just like we're all super tuned to our own faces because we stare at ourselves every single day. Even though it's not how I would have done it every single day, I think she actually took a much more like professional view of how, how they should be mapped to your face. I'll insert a diagram, but typically like brows are supposed to line up with the inside of your nose and then um, the arch should be where your iris crosses with your nose and then the outside should be like towards the out of your eye. That pretty much aligns with how she drew them. I think that my brows are just naturally a little bit asymmetrical, which she actually evened out a lot. Um, usually my brows are more asymmetrical than this, but she did a lot of mapping to make sure that they were like a little bit more symmetrical. I don't know if you can tell which one, but this brow is higher. Um, and I think she did a really great job of like evening them out as much as she possibly could. But yeah, I think I'm just like not used to how dark and defined they are, especially without any makeup on. It just like looks like a lot to me, but I'm actually really excited to see how they turn out because the shape is definitely growing on me and I'm just like excited to wake up and like have some brows. Today is day three. I noticed some itchiness for the first time. Like I really wanted to scratch my brows. Um, and I think it's because they're starting to heal a little bit and you know when things when you have a fresh cut that's healing it like itches but I don't really see any noticeable scabs yet I guess towards the outer edges it's starting to look oh, maybe a little bit scabby it's, it's hard to tell though because I got powder brows which means that they are like a little bit like little dots like that anyway that they're different from microblading um brows where you see like hair strokes like this is more of like a kind of pixelated dotting pattern so it's hard to see it's hard to tell if those are scabs or just like the ombre powder but i think that they might be starting to scab just a little bit um you can kind of see it in the fronts too i don't know if you can tell but i feel like there's a little bit of like scabbing that's, there's a little bit of color unevenness in the front that I think is from scabbing maybe a little bit. They've definitely started to scab and you can see in the front, they're starting to flake off. The ends are staying strong though. Those seem completely perfectly intact, but yeah, the front is definitely starting to look a little bit patchy. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm afraid that it's just gonna look really, really patchy when I go to LA and I'm just- Okay, sorry, different lighting, but I'm in LA and no longer my bathroom. Today's day four. And as you can see, eyebrows are definitely scabbing off a lot more. I was kind of wondering why like they were so perfectly intact and they weren't moving at all, but now you can see. They're, they're definitely starting to scab and flake off, especially in the front. I get the feeling that my brows are not gonna be normal looking for my time in LA. It is day five and brows are looking highly unfortunate. They're flaking off really badly. Only the tail end of this one is really still intact. And then this one, I mean, like the whole front has flaked off. There's a little bit of white from the, um, 
the ointment, like the healing ointment or whatever that Cass gave me and I don't want to rub it too hard. So it, that's just going to be there until, until it falls off, I guess. But yeah, it's like flaking off really, really badly. Um, this is probably one of the worst days that my brows have seen and probably one of the worst dates that they could possibly be in, but and that's perfect timing because I just got to LA for a whole week. So I'm really excited to be seeing people looking like this. I literally have an event today with some of my classmates in person and we're going into office visits and I'm just gonna have to show up looking like this. Like, I know people are gonna be wondering why my eyebrows are peeling and they're just gonna be too polite to say anything and that's just how it's gonna go. But yeah, this one I can see also the scab or the scab is starting to come off, but I'm not gonna pick at it. Just let it fall off naturally. Um, same with this one. You can also see that the skin underneath is like really light and the pigment underneath is really light, which I know happens like when they first, the scabs first fall off, it takes a while for the new baby skin to reveal the pigment underneath. So it's just gonna look really light for a while, which was expected. Um, honestly, anything is better than this current state that we're in right now, this really sad, unfortunate state. That's what we're working with today. So today is day six. You can see that my brows are a lot more, a lot more of the scabbing has come off. I feel like as soon as the scabs started to flake off, I feel like the color was intact for like the first two or three days and they stayed on really strong. And then after that, once they started to scab and flake off, they like came off pretty fast. So today is day six. There's only a bit left on this left eyebrow and then yeah, really just the tail end left on this right. Um, and I feel like that's starting to flake off a bit too. I don't know, maybe my skin just regenerates really quickly, but I feel like that's like a faster timeline than it usually is. It is day seven and most of the scabs have fallen off. There's really just a little bit here, a little bit there. Maybe a little bit in the front there, and then on this side, just the very tail end is left. Um, I think there's actually still a little bit of scabbing in the front part of my right brow. It's just like a very, very thin layer, so it's not like that really thick, dark scab that I had initially. But it definitely, I don't think it's completely fallen off. Um, there's definitely some little bits and pieces still there, but the really horrible scabbing phase has finally ended, thank God. That was a really rough time, but this is looking honestly really great. But I'm really excited for the final healed result because this is just still the freshly healed like baby skin, so the color is still lighter than the final result will be. And this already is like a huge improvement from what I naturally have, which is basically no brows. This is like, already honestly like being able to wake up with these brows i'm pretty good with that already it's a really natural kind of light shading because i'll be honest like the even the very first day i first got them done i think they were a little bit dark for my taste which is fine um i just like my brows to be pretty soft and i think that once they fully heal they'll definitely be softer than like the first freshly done brows so yeah, I'm really excited to see the final results. I feel like also my scabbing process was pretty quick. Like it's day seven and sometimes scabbing can go on for like two weeks, like up to 14 days, I think. Um, and so, but most of my scabs have already come off. So I don't know if that's a good thing because technically the scabbing can still contain some of the pigment in it, but um, yeah, I guess we'll see. I'll keep you updated on how they heal. Today is day eight and all of the scabs have fallen off this left eyebrow today. There I woke up with a little bit like on the tail end, I think in the midsection, but that's all fallen off. So that is completely scab free at this point. Um, the color's looking really good. I think it's like a nice neutral brown. Not too warm not too cold and i'm excited that this is like the lightest they'll be that once they fully heal they'll be darker than this um i think i'm more okay with the shape now too because it's just a lot softer and not as like 
dark and sharp as they were when I first got them done, like the very first day. I think I've also just gotten a lot more used to this shape on my face, um, honestly. And then on this brow, I have just a little bit left here and maybe a tiny bit left in the front, but I think that the scabs are pretty much off of the right brow as well. I feel like my scabs shed relatively quickly. I think eight days is like on the quick side because it can take, I think like seven to 12 or seven to 14 days for all the scabs to fully fall off. But yeah, mine were gone in, pretty much all gone in eight. Um, but the color underneath looks good. I mean, it looks even and I'm excited to see what the final result is going to look like. But honestly, I just did a little bit of makeup and like, I feel like I almost don't need to do anything with my brows. Like usually when people get their brows microbladed, they still need to fill them in. I feel like for like a really low key look, I could leave them as is. I probably like don't need to add any color. Um, they look pretty normal. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Angela's new cat. Okay, today is day nine. I woke up with a little bit of scabbing left on this one brow, this right brow, but that's already fallen off. I think I still might have like a tiny bit of scabbing in there in the middle. I don't know if you can see. And then also in the front there, but it's mostly all gone. And then left brow has been scab free for a day now. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what my brows look like fully scab free. They're gonna get a little bit darker over time as the freshly scarred, as the fresh baby skin starts to fade a little bit and the pigment can actually come back out. I will say it's so much nicer to not have to worry about like the delicate scabs coming off and also and now I feel like I could very gently put powder over it and I don't have to deal with like the really ugly scabbing that looked really uneven and just scary honestly. That is the 9 day update. I think from here on out maybe I'll update you when all of these scabs fall off but then I'll probably just do like bi-weekly updates like updates every two weeks because I don't think that day to day they're gonna look that different, but maybe like week over week, you'll see kind of the pigment change or some of the color come back. So I might do some more infrequent updates after this. But yeah, I think it's kind of interesting that the color, the pigment seems a little bit darker on this left brow than this right brow, but the scabs actually came off on the left brow sooner. So I guess we'll see how the pigment comes back. Um, maybe it'll come back darker on this brow, maybe not. I guess we'll see. Okay, this is me with my brows filled, like with a tiny bit of makeup, a tiny bit of powder, just literally on the very, very um, tail ends. Like I probably start here and put a little tiny bit and then same with this one. But like as far as the front goes, I actually think it's already kind of perfect without having to touch them. The powder brows have faded a lot from when they were fresh obviously and so it kind of just looks really soft and diffuse and it does actually literally look like powder. Um, I usually like powder makeup for brows because it just is softer and I prefer softer makeup and like you can't even tell really where the brow powder like permanent powder starts and ends and where the makeup powder starts. Um, so it's like kind of it kind of blends like very seamlessly and yeah i really didn't have to put much powder makeup on at all i almost like didn't even need to i just kind of wanted to elongate my tails just a slight bit but i'm really happy with the way it turned out because i think i was a little worried that when i got my brows powdered with permanent makeup like the tails were too low but the way they've healed it's actually been it's very subtle and she also, Cass also did them lighter than I normally would with my own makeup. And so I just ended up putting a little bit of makeup over the top of where she had powdered. So this is actually pretty close to how I would normally fill my brows with makeup. Um, and so she didn't actually really end up changing the shape too much at all. I was just worried that the tails were gonna come down too far down, but my brows are still pretty straight. Overall, I'm like really happy 
with the way they are right now and it's only day nine. Okay, so today is day 13. Um, I am back home. This is my home bathroom and I'm not wearing any makeup on my brows. Um, you can see, so when Cass did the powder tattoo, she cleaned up the entire area around where she put the color so she had shaved off she didn't pluck or tweeze anything but she did shave off all the hair around where she tattooed and you can see that it's starting to come back uh both above and below where she tattooed um so yeah hair is growing back the scabbing is has been gone for a while I can't tell if the color has started to get darker than when it was like freshly scabbing. It's honestly difficult to see just because like I see it day by day and so to me I can't really tell a huge difference. I'll probably have to go back and look. I have to go back to previous videos to see if there's a huge difference in the color but the color looks really really beautiful. It's like very neutral which is what I asked for and I don't know, I feel like it might be a little bit darker than when it, like the scabs had just fallen off because my brows were pretty light then. But anyways, this is how they're looking at 13 days, looking pretty good. I'll continue to update you probably like every week or so um, just to see how the color comes back because there's really not that much of a difference day over day at this point. I do think that this brow for some reason, it's either the color is coming back faster or it just the color retained fast better on this side. This side looks a little bit more patchy, which is interesting because I think this one, the left brow, the scabs came off first. So you would think that the color would stay on better on the right brow, but so far not the case. We'll see if by the time they're done healing if this is still the case. Today is day 20. It's been um, almost three weeks. More of the hair around the color, the tattoo itself has also come back. I don't really mind the look of like some hair around the actual tattoo part. I feel like I don't really need it to be like a super snatched super clean brow again like it's really hard for me to tell the difference just because day over day it doesn't really look that different but i do think like it looks a little bit darker than when the scabs had just freshly come off for sure some of the color is coming back um yeah we're about three weeks in so we're almost there i think the full healing process is four to six weeks so um at least halfway through the healing process if I'm doing like makeup or going out anywhere, I do still feel like I need to fill in my brows a little bit because it's still just a little bit too light for that, which is fine because honestly, if my brows were as dark as they need to be when I'm wearing makeup, they would be too dark for when I'm not wearing makeup, if that makes sense. Like right now, if my brows were as dark as I would normally make them with makeup, it would just be too dark for my no makeup face. It just wouldn't look right. But yeah, like I'm really happy with the way they are as a base because waking up with like this shade, I'm really, really happy with the color. I think they're really neutral and it's like a very natural color that really suits me. I think sometimes I go between black and blonde hair, but I think this color would suit either because it's so neutral. Um, so yeah, I, I sometimes I see brows that are a little bit too warm and I think that Cass did a really good job of keeping the color really neutral. I still feel like this brow didn't retain the color as well as this brow for sure um, and again like it is weird because I feel like the scabs came off of this one first but that's about it for the update. Here's a close up of the brows. Doing another quick check-in. Today is day, today's the 28th, so it's been 23 days. Um, so a little over three weeks, and this is how the brows are looking. Um, so far, so good. Hey, today, and this is how the brows are looking. 
kind of the same as before, darker on this side, a little lighter on this side, but generally looking pretty good. Again, love the color. Um, I don't really see much of a difference in the color since the last time I checked in, but maybe it's gotten a little bit darker. It'll be interesting to watch back all this footage and see if it really has changed or not because I really can't tell like day over day. It looks the same, exact same to me, but but yeah, maybe I'll look back and realize that it has changed a lot uh, over the course of a couple of days. Okay, it's been 35 days, so five weeks, um, which means that brows should be pretty much healed. The healing brush is about 46 weeks, so these brows should be fully healed. Here is a close-up of the brows. I think this is gonna be my final update because I don't really think the color is gonna change too much from here on out. Um, I'm gonna take this as the final results. 